Hey there, it's Ashley here with Grateful Art. Today I'm in Idaho on Mackie Reservoir and I would love to show you guys how to paint this beautiful sunset that's behind me. And I am on my paddleboard <laughs> filming this. So let's get started. I'm so glad that you are joining me today. If you love to paint, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell next to it. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put water on my paper. Not too much that it pools, but just enough that it'll wet my paper and spread the paint around. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add this light peachy orange color. And I'm letting it streak because this is going to be the water. I'm going to take this all the way across here and then I'm just going to take my brush and very loosely I'm going to create waves here with this orange. And I'm going aslant because this is the way the water was moving. And when I come back in here, I'm just going to go across like this. And then I'm going to grab my yellow and I'm going to put a nice bit of yellow right through here and right up in here. Okay. Now I'm going to get in my sky and I'm going to take that nice yellow and I'm going to put it right here. And then as it goes up, it's going to get a little bit lighter. was that pink, that tinge of pink. I'm just putting that on the corner of my brush and getting that down there at the bottom of my sunset. Just making sure it nicely blends. Grabbing that yellow. Right, and now I'm just going to wet the top of my canvas here so that it will flow right into the next color that I'm putting here, which is a very wish gray color. Making sure I have all my color off and all my water. I'm just gonna go through here and soften this. This paper is not the best paper and then I'm going to take a dry brush and I'm going to pull off some of this color in here. Okay, and I'm dabbing it on my paper towel. This is going to give the look of clouds. Just lightens up some of this area as well. While that's drying, I'm going to take that same blue color and I'm going to put it down right through here. Okay, and I'm going to leave streaks, okay, and then it just softens right through here, and then there's a line of this blue, this light blue, right through here. Okay, then I just grab my nice aqua blue, really light, and I'm just going to go over that. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, I'm just going to grab straight aqua right now. Put in some waves. I'm just going to pull a little bit from the side here where there's some land. I'm going to grab my purple for that. pull up for the look of something that's there. We don't need to put that in right right now. And another one right through here. And you have these really pretty mountains back here. Okay, and while I get closer to that sunset, I'm going to change to my pink here. And then I'm going to go back 
to my bluish purple. Before you add in another layer, you have to let this dry. So make it how you want and then let it dry. And then you can do your next layer since this is dry. So I'm just gonna, again, take my blue and purple, make sure that it's a darker color than what you have there. So I'm gonna go up to my next value and put in my next mountain thing here, which just comes down and up a little bit. Goes down. So, and then you fill that in. And then that needs to dry. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna grab this purple gray color and add a little bit more contrast right through here. Just make sure that all of them are going in the same direction. So these go in this way. And then when it gets back here, it just starts to go side to side. This one goes straight across all the way to the other side. So if you wanna grab something to help you do that, some trees or some bushes over here on this other side of this lake. So I'm just creating that. And then this comes up behind here. Goes all the way up. So I'm going to fill that in. And then remember these little bushes right through here, they need to be green too. But they're just, you just be impressionistic with it. And they go all the way up and they only leave a little tiny gap, so. And I'm gonna add a little contrast in there. Darker than that back behind color. So there's just this really cool glow coming off these clouds. And the clouds moved really, really fast, so <laughs> really I can make them however. And remember with watercolors, you do your light colors first. So I'm getting that glow in there first because I can't go over the top. Okay, now I can take my purple and there were storms coming in, so all the time, like it would be really, really nice and then a storm would come in. So I just move that color around. Looking at my reference photo, just kind of getting the idea. I don't have to match it perfectly. Just want to get that feel of, feel of the place. Grabbing my pink, because there was pink through here, and then there would be a lighter pink, and then right under that would be another glow, that darker pink. So pretty. And like bright orange, just glowing off. It's just like layer after layer after layer of gorgeousness. Okay, and then I just like to make sure I have it nice and bright where I want it to be. Grab some of that light, 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 light yellow. Okay, so now I'm gonna finish off these little trees right here. So I have a picture of them, what they look like. So I'm just coming here, adding a little more detail, just making them how I want. And then I'm gonna come in here and give them a little shadow. 
as well as this. So I'm gonna add a little bit of cool color into this right here. There we go. Just to give it kind of an impressionistic look. And then bring this over. And really I can get detailed with this or I can just leave the water the way it is. When you're happy with your painting, go ahead and sign your work and you are done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. Let me know in the comments below if you did or if you have any questions. And if you would like to get weekly art lessons that teach you the why behind art, right now we're talking about color theory and their weekly art lessons, go ahead and click right here and you can also get the reference photos for all these. And right here, go ahead and watch more watercolor videos if you would like to and travel videos right over here after you guys have signed up for art lessons. <laughs> and I will see you guys soon. Bye!